We're at Overland Expo PNW in Redmond, Oregon, and we just got back to camp after spending all day inside Expo, checking out some really cool stuff. Yeah, and there is a lot of stuff to check out, and it's almost overwhelming how much stuff there is to see. So this video, we wanted to do something a little bit different. We wanted to share 10 of our favorite things that we saw in there today, and so this video is gonna be a little bit different. It's not gonna be super produced or anything like that. It's really just gonna be off the cuff while we were inside, we thought, let's share some of our favorite things. And our criteria, well, there weren't really a lot of criteria, no. but there's a lot of things inside that are mega, right? Huge builds, rooftop tents, you know, uh, campers, all kinds of things. But what we wanted to focus on are things that solved specific problems that we encounter. Because I know a lot of you watching this may experience some of those same problems. And so that's what we're trying to address with these 10 things. Now, I should also say, none of these are sponsored. We're not affiliated with any of these brands. This is just kind of our super candid take on our 10 favorite things, and they're super wide ranging. Some of them are super inexpensive, like $2, and, and one of them in particular, which you'll see, is like $75,000. So it's all over the gamut. But anyway, we hope you enjoy. Now uh, let's take you inside and show you our favorite things. All right, so behind me, you can see this Lexus GX550. This is hands down one of the coolest things that I have seen at Expo this year. I'm really surprised that they have one here. Honestly, I was not expecting to see one. This is the Overtrail Plus model. So it has a factory rear locker. It's got 33 inch tires from the factory. EKDDS, they removed the third row seats. So there's a ton of storage space. So for overlanders like us, this is gonna be a great potential option. And as we think about potentially replacing our 100 series at some point, this right now is at the top of the list. So yeah, we're gonna move on, but this is definitely one of the most exciting things that I have seen at Expo this year. All right, I found my new favorite thing at Expo and it's the rock pot, which um, allows you to cook food without any propane, no electricity. Um, this is super cool. You just heat this up, um, takes about, uh, I think, 30 minutes to heat up uh, either on a grill or on fire. This goes inside here, goes in there. All the food you're going to cook will go in here. Close it up and you can carry this around with you. This is double walled so you don't have to worry about um, touching this when it's hot. And yeah, takes a couple hours to uh, cook some food. And I love this. Uh, this is like a Dutch oven meets a slow cooker. And oh my God, this would be a total game changer if we had this. The meals that I could make, oh my God. So yeah, love this. All right, we're just walking through Expo and I came across this sign as we were walking past. You're not dead yet, stop sleeping like a mummy. And it called to me because you probably know if you watched our videos that I am the world's biggest mummy bag hater. I like to be able to spread out when I sleep and I can't stand mummy bags. And so I have purchased what is probably the largest sleeping bag that exists. <laughs> Christine gives me a hard time for it all the time because it is so big. It takes up so much space in the truck. So we saw this booth and we decided to check it out. And what's really cool about this is these blankets are down and they pack up super small, but they keep you really warm down to like 30 degrees. So theoretically, this can replace my giant sleeping bag. And so we might be trying this out because it takes up so much room. And all I want is to be able to spread out and not be stuck in a mummy bag. So this has become one of my favorite things that we've seen at Expo this year. I found my next favorite thing at Expo and it's a Defiance Tools uh, barbecue multi-tool. Yes, so Tell it's me. a nice and compact tool. Starts like this, but then each side comes off and then they swivel open. Then you get your full-size fork and spatula. What's awesome, you put them together to make tongs. And then in the base is your knife, as well as your bottle opener and your corkscrew. It's all stainless. It is actually dishwasher safe. So if you gotta get home after your adventures, you could do it in the dishwasher. Uh, but then it folds back down, snaps into place. And then it comes with its own little case. 
And if you're so inclined, you could put it on your belt loop. <laughs> oh. So that's it. That's awesome. This is going to help me pare down so much stuff in our kitchen drawer. I'm so excited for this. Awesome. All right, I found another one. This one is super cool. So it's a company called Agawa. And uh, so they make saws and check these out. So super cool, but what's really cool about them is how small they pack down. So they pack down, you can see them here. And for us, where we don't have a whole lot of space to devote to something, that is super cool. And then Brad, so this is, yeah, so here's, here's one of the saws. You can see how easy it sets up. So that's super cool. And then Brad just showed me something that I am really excited about. He was like, hey, do you have an ax? And I said, I, I need an ax, but I don't have room for one in the truck right now. And so he showed me a product. It's not out yet. It's going to be a Kickstarter. Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, we're going to be launching a Kickstarter in a couple months. So, um, so you'll be able to find it on show this. Show this to me because this is sure, so sure, cool. Sure. And you're going to set it up way better than I would. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. So it's, it, like you said, it starts off as a 14-inch hatchet. And then, uh, you know, this is good for work around the campfire you know, doing some small limbing, maybe some feather sticking, bushcraft work. And then when you do need to do some splitting or maybe even some felling, you can extend this into a 26 inch forest axe. So you have the versatility of two tools in one package. Um, and we have a very nice sort of Scandinavian grind on the head with a nice splitting maul shape at the back end and then a, a hardened pole so you can do your tent stakes and anything you want with that, so yeah. That is super cool. And I think it's like one of these things that just serves a need for people who have limited space to be able to have, you know, a hatchet and an ax and basically just the, you know, the space that one hatchet would take up. So as soon as this thing is out, I need to know because because I, I need to get one. Yeah. So you got it, buddy. yeah, thank you, Brad. Appreciate <laughs> yeah, it. No problem. Yeah. All right. This might be one of my favorite things at Expo and it may not be what you think. It's the Thermocell mosquito repellent. I definitely need this because I get bit all the time when we go out. This can put out a 20 foot dome, which is about the size of this tent. And you may not think that this would work, but it does. I don't know the magic behind it, but these things are magic. Uh, it doesn't matter where you're overlanding. If there are mosquitoes and uh, they're everywhere, it's just going to ruin a trip. So this so far is my favorite thing at Expo. I found the next thing that's going to make my list and it's right here. It's a company called Wildland Coffee. And so you probably have watched, if you've watched some of our videos, you probably know that there's days that I like to go all out and I like to make coffee. And there's other days that I don't want to do anything. I just literally make instant coffee. And so this is for those days where I don't wanna put in the massive amount of effort that it takes sometimes to make coffee, but I actually want some good coffee. And so this I think is a solution that's gonna provide like a super big step up in the quality of my lazy morning coffee. And so, do you want to tell us a little bit about Wildland Coffee, kind of what goes into it and, and what's it all about? Yeah, of course. So we, it's, uh, it's a uh, corn fiber compostable tea bag. We put about three tablespoons of freshly ground ground coffee in here. And all you do is you, you steep it in your cup for about four minutes or uh, to taste. And you get an amazing French press quality cup of coffee with no mess and no cleanup. And I've tried it and it is, it is legit. So I think I'm going to retire the instant coffee and I'm gonna go to this. So it definitely earns a spot on, on one of our favorites. Yeah, this cool, is super cool. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Appreciate it. I have another favorite here at Expo and it's the Step 22 Hedgehog. This bag, I'm all about organization and these bags are amazing. Uh, these bags will fit little things that need to get rolled up and put into the truck. Uh, I was told that these uh, bags or I guess pouches, uh, anything with a red uh, little loop, these are removable. And uh, these fit in any of the other uh, products that they have. So I, again, am all about organization and this makes me so happy. You see these though? <laughs> this? Probably better suited for Jeff. No. Oh, I can see that for sure. For sure. <laughs> I mean, they're not wrong. <laughs> I am a wannabe cowboy. I have found another of my favorite things here today. And this one probably is no surprise for me, or it's an easy pick, I should say. And it's Danner. So I realized that Danner has got a booth here. And pretty much all I wear at this point is Danner. Right now I've got my 
Danner flip flops on. I've been using these for like the last two years. So um, I absolutely love these things. I've got like two other pairs of Danners that I pretty much wear exclusively. And so had to stop and check out the booth, see what's new. We've got some camp slippers, which are pretty cool. Uh, I haven't seen these before and uh, actually have these hiking boots and I've got these flip flops and I've got like one other pair of Danners that, that isn't here. So, so all I've got to say, not sponsored in any way, but Danner is the go-to boot for both Christine and I. It's the only thing we consider at this point and not sponsored, just saying these things are freaking sweet. All right, so we're here at the Gazelle tent booth surrounded by gazelles and you know we have been struggling with our tent and for the last two years we have actually been watching some friends of ours throw their tent up in less than two minutes so jeff and i finally pulled the trigger and we're getting a t3 overland edition gazelle tent i'm super excited about this because uh, you all know how gazelle tents uh, pop up in a matter of minutes but this specific tent has um, a footprint that um, is awesome because right now we're just throwing down a tarp so that's going to help save us some space and uh, this um, also has um, a waterproof uh, bag that it comes in so if we ever decide to throw it up on the roof rack it's going to be waterproof and uh, these come with some heavy duty stakes so super excited about this.